What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another edition of Hold My Beer. We'll see if you get to hold on to it this time or if I can keep it. Uh, so, today is the Sierra Nevada Sunny Little Thing Citrus Wheat Ale. Never had this, have no clue if it's going to be like last episode or if it's going to be a little bit better. So, let's see. Uh, we, we know I'm, I'm not a huge funky beer stuff, so see how it is it's actually pretty good uh, the wifey she usually gets the little Sierra Nevada combo pack in that uh, this was in it she's not getting this in that but anyway uh, so we are also of course gotta have the food and this episode is one that I've actually seen a few times and wanted to do anyway, uh, especially now that I got the Blackstone, I was wanting to do one of these. Uh, when I was seeing it you know, pop up, it's one of those went viral cooks and it's been named multiple different things, you know, the burger taco or the Mexican burger, or the different little things and just the ground beef taco, that's what it is, nothing fancy. Uh, however, it was recommended, therefore we have a new Hold My Beer Gamecock Eat sticker going out to Yellow Dog Woodworking, and I know what you're thinking, and I did not. Uh, so we did not work together on this. He actually posted it and tagged me in it. Um, he did actually post like just an image or something, and I told him I've been wanting to do this. I said, find, find the video, so we will put that in. Uh, this is the video that he went in and added. Uh, there's 47,000 versions of this video. This is just the one that made it to us. Uh, so let's see how they do it. Hey, do you like smash burgers? And do you like tacos? If you said yes to both, you are in for a very special treat. Because today on the Hunger Hussy Cooking Show, we are going to do smash burger tacos on the Blackstone Griddle. Let's get going. <laughs> Uh, you also want to make sure all your ingredients, whatever you're putting on this, you want to make sure it is ready to go, especially like your cheese, because smash burgers go, go so, so fast. Come in here with some heifer dust, just like that. You want to take your tortilla, you put your tortilla on there and smash it. So you come in, there's our burger. Look at that. Beautiful. Easy enough, hopefully. Uh, we're actually going to make it a whole meal out of it, uh, doing some tots. There's a few different ways that people have done it. Uh, it has been done either as like the smash burger, do the little ball, put it down, smash it. Uh, then I've seen people do it the way that we did, uh, where I actually took tortilla shells, went ahead and spread the ground beef out on it, and that way I can get more seasoning on it when I put it down. Uh, Otherwise, it looks like people just kind of get a little sprinkle right on the top and then not a whole lot after that. So I'm doing it this way to hopefully get some more seasoning on it and we'll see how it goes. But like I said, we're doing a whole, whole meal out of this. So I'm going to do full cooking everything here and uh, we're doing some tots to go with it. But here, here's our attempt at the burger taco quesadilla open face sandwich thing. Hold my beer. First, we are going to get our tots a cooking. And obviously, you've never seen it before, so I've never done tots on here before. We're going to see how this works out together. Uh, I've got everything to the top uh, max. I just turned this far one off. It has been on. I just turned it off because what I want to do is get those on and cook them down a little bit and then move them over. Uh, because typically when you bake them in the oven, it's 400 something for like 20 minutes 
Uh, so the goal is to get them warmed up and everything, then move them over, and they can kind of cook down that way. Hopefully. Let's see. On these, we are doing the Big Papa's jalapeno bacon rub and Big Mo Quezon's steakhouse. I'll throw some of that there. And I should have thought about this earlier, but doing some bacon, and I actually like to bring my bacon up slowly. Uh, so I'm going to turn these middle burners completely off for a few minutes, let that cool down a little bit, and uh, then slap my bacon on. I could use my bacon press. However, as we were leaving the kitchen and Dawn said, oh, don't you need your little press thingy? And I said, no, I'm not doing the actual smash burgers. But I am doing bacon. I forgot about it. I'm trying to get it cool off. Worked. All right, let's see if it's cooled down enough. Probably a little higher than I want it, but... It'll be alright. They're still off, by the way. Uh, this one's turned all the way down. Uh, everything else is completely off right now. Uh, I'm just going to let those go for a little bit. We may get to test out this roof here in just a minute. Hopefully not. Because I don't want to carry all this back into the house in the pouring rain. Now it start raining is how much will you be able to hear me? So that was blue a minute ago. It is no longer blue. And now the stars of the show. Everything's still at medium heat. Now let's go for a flip. Ah! That one got a little messed up. It's don't. Turning those down, or off, actually, turning those off. Now I'm gonna get the cheese melted, and you're going down. Oh, you're back. Cheese is mostly melted. You're mostly looking at me. Mostly. I don't know. They're coming off because I don't want that to burn. And then I'm gonna crank these right back up so we can finish the tots on them. So I basically have these sitting straight on the burners. Uh, that way they are gonna be hot and hopefully crisp up. And the thunder is starting and we actually just heard a couple of sprinkles. So you see her cleaning up and taking in. It just stopped. We heard a couple of sprinkles and then it, we, we got into action and then it stopped. So we got a few more minutes with these tots, but I say a few more minutes, I don't know. Until I think they're done. So hopefully we get out of here in time. And it just dropped. Don't know if you can hear it. Oh, and she comes running to the right. It just started. You can see it there. You can hear the thunder. Uh, time to go. All right, so we got our bacon and cheese. She's putting some other things on it, but I'm the kind of don't mess up a good thing. However, I do need to, get, need to need to get a napkin 
right there I'm gonna mess up a good floor and everything because this is about to get messy. Tastes like a really, 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 really good burger and a tortilla. We'll do it again. Oh, uh, hand me my beer back. That was pretty good. And I almost forgot. Well, I already got my beer back. We're gonna do the tots. They have cooled off a little bit. They have cooled off a hair from the transportation through the absolute monsoon. They're crisp and they are good. Uh, so we will definitely be making some uh, off camera. My wife is eating my tots. So apparently they are good because she got her own. Get your own tots. Go. No, go find your own. Come on, give me some of your tots. But anyway, uh, we will definitely be making tots on the griddle again. Uh, we'll definitely be making these things again too. But. I got my beer. So next time, by the way, if you find any other cooks you want me to try to recreate, feel free to let me know. Also, it's a huge help to hit subscribe, thumbs up, comment, share it, all that cool stuff. Uh, but again, if you want a sticker of your own, you gotta find a video that you want me to do, tag me in it, and I gotta pick it. Let's go.